Flower Program is a citywide program that I found online and I found that you could adopt a garden, so we chose to adopt a garden near our house. It's an opportunity for people to volunteer, give back to the community. It started in 1995 with Al Thompson, who was a park specialist, and Mike Holub. They had talked and Mike donated 5,000 marigolds to the city. And that's kind of how it started. And from there it's grown. And currently I got 45 locations. I've got five more coming on. Some go back and forth. Just we move them around within the parks to try them in different areas. And we try to always keep about 50 going. We plant flowers and we make it and we maintain the gardens through the summer. We basically maintain it, weed it, uh, remove heads when they need to, things like that. It's just regular garden maintenance for a flower garden. And we also do the planting for it. Oh yes, we yeah. do plant them in the spring. We planted about 700 bedding plants this spring in this, in this garden alone. This year I ordered uh, 340 flats which was 18,000, a little over 18,360 individual plants that went out. So that's a lot of volunteers, that's a lot of labor that I'm counting on. I have volunteers, I have some that started back in 97 that are still with the program and then all five to six a year I get to fill in. I have kind of a waiting list that we create from. I never have a need where I'm going out looking for people. I always have people contacting me pretty regular people in Colorado that we still know are trying to find a similar program in Denver and Parker, Colorado because they've seen how much enjoyment it's given us. And if we go on a trip, our first stop home in the dark sometimes is to check on the garden with our headlights. Am I right? That's right. Yeah. I mean, that's his, his second baby. Most people come in with a little sense of what they want in the background. They had 139 varieties of plants to pick from this year. And with those, they have a growing height to work with a spread, uh, the color. So they kind of come up with a design on their own when they do a flower bed. We usually plan in the fall. We look at what we have in place and we um, try to figure out how we can tweak it a little bit better. We visit other gardens and stare at their flowers and um, then put everything on paper, waiting for the spring to order them. And typically we order them then forget where to put them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know we have all these yellow flowers, but we can't remember where to put them. We have a lot of help, especially from Holub Gardens who donate the bedding plants. Uh, Joni and I have put in quite a few perennials because this is quite a large garden here. And uh, uh, Sean and, and the Parks uh, Department has helped with that also with roses and other uh, chrysanthemums and so forth. I enjoy it. It's been a fun program. I took it over from Al who started it, kind of just being his helper. And I think it's evolved where I, yeah, I have a real appreciation for the program. I get to meet a lot of the gardeners and it's fun to see how excited they get about it. So especially the little kids, they, they love it. So, What I like is, is the support we get. We, we couldn't do this uh, uh, with Sean and his crew. You know, they, they prepare it every spring for us for the bedding plants. Uh, we asked for some edging, we got that. I mean, we couldn't do it without the support that the city, so it's a real, it's a real partnership within the city. This was Mike's way of giving back to a community that has supported him so well over the years and very generous. Uh, Iowa Parks and Recreation gave him a service club award two years ago for his generosity to the city. And it'd be very difficult to do without Mike Holub and his donations. Go to the city's webpage and under the Parks and Recreation, you go into the park system and within the park system is where you'll find the information for Adopt-A-Flower Garden.